вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn how to fake reality to achieve more beautiful renders without any compositing after rendering. It will be a quick overview tutorial that will help you to understand how you may use this powerful tool to achieve incredible results in your creative ideas. But first, if you want to thank me for my efforts doing all these tutorials for you for free in my free time, you can become my patron, and only for five dollars you'll get all the tutorials project files, advanced bonus lessons with all the secrets of the world, and even some of my digital products for free that will save you hundreds of hours. And if you want even more, you can check my art station market, where you will find incredible texture sets that are ready to use, unique advanced techniques bonus lessons, and high quality game ready models that you can use immediately. So it's great to be my patron to get all these bonuses. Moreover, half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine. That is very important now. So before we practically will do some stuff, let's compare these two images. First one was with a ray switch and this is original without it. As you can see in this particular example, we have a beautiful result, but it's fake. Refraction cannot be cyan here, it must be purple. Originally we would have really dark area here, not purple one. And of course reflection would not have this interest in purple light color here. So concluding the results, ray switch will help us fake the reality to get more interesting results that we want to without any compositing after. So let's switch all the elements we don't need to now. And of course my patrons will get the project files and you can look how it was built. I will turn off the post-production in the camera to get real results. So for example, I really like these reflections on the floor. But to achieve this look, I need to up the power of the emission that will give me over burnt look of the screen. If I will lower the power of the emission to get the good result of the screen, I will lose my reflections. For example, now the screen looking good, but the reflections are gone. So let's keep the high emission power to have these reflections that we like, and let's add ray switch node to our screen material. For now, let's connect our screen material to all inputs of our ray switch, and nothing happens for now. So let's start from making our screen look right. Link our screen texture to color correction node and color correction you need to link to camera ray. By lowering the brightness you'll see that reflections will stay the same, but screen will be not overburned anymore. And now we can fake it even more, for example if I will change the hue and saturation, we will get orange image on the screen, but reflections will stay the same. Now let's add gradient and link it to reflection ray. Let's play with the colors a bit and get the amazing results that are also fake. Now we have a green reflection with some red and blue areas. And of course we don't have none of these colors on the original image on the screen. Now let's fake it even more. Let's turn on the close on the screen, drag out RGB spectrum and link it to refraction ray. If I will change the color to greenish cyanic, you'll see this interesting scattering effect that is also fake. Now let's do the same with the shadows. We have a really dark and not interesting area in front of the screen, but we can make it beautiful in seconds using ray switch. So initially we had realistic image, but it look really boring, but in a minute we fake a lot of elements of it and make it look great. Let's turn on the volume to make it even more beautiful and enjoy the results. So hope you liked it, enjoyed it, learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more interesting upcoming videos. Big thanks to my amazing patrons Anthony Tudisco, C4D Center and Daniel. Have a great week and remember, все Ukraina.